Hi, hello, good morning. We are here at Universal Studios Japan. It is a busy day in March, but that is fine because we already did all of Super Nintendo World last time we were here in Japan, but Caitlin hasn't been yet here or Hollywood. So we have a return time for that, but we're not gonna spend too much time there because basically what we're here for is the new No Limit Parade, which includes a Super Mario unit and a Pokemon unit. The first time like Pokemon has officially entered into a Universal Park, so that's very exciting. But we are here, it's an exciting, it is also a good day, it is not raining, so I'm very happy about that. Also if you remember the last time we were here, the Jujutsu Kaisen 4D show is still here. So there it is. But we are heading to the Space Fantasy ride because I love it. Again, if you watch my Universal video in November, uh, we, rode, we rode the Space Fantasy ride and we're blown away on what the heck was happening in the ride. I'm excited to see what you think of this ride. Because last time we were here, when I was with Caitlin, it was a Cool Japan like Final Fantasy VR ride. But now the regular... Yeah, it was cool. But it's fun to see like the actual coaster that's supposed to be there. Ooh, the sun is sunning. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. It's 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 a lot. Also, I don't know what's happening, but Universal Japan is just blasting stupid love from Lady Gaga. I don't know. They don't they don't care about rights here. Last time I was here, they were blasting Hamilton. So I don't know. I think they just play whatever they want. You guys, <laughs> I apparently didn't do any research. It is not the Space Fantasy ride. It is another overlay for this this blue anime dude I don't know I, f I feel like he looks familiar but okay I guess I guess we're gonna I guess we're gonna ride this <laughs> so I had to put my camera in the locker but uh, if you remember last time we were here they weren't doing these but looks like they returned for this special event I love their little cast member team member costumes their team members are universal they got little goggles and everything. I'm excited to see what our picture looks like. I don't know where we are. We got in an elevator. And we're, we're in the sky. That's all I got out of it. A plane. We're gonna get in our own plane. I'm very excited. There it is. That's our plane. They like made us walk out with the headset. <laughs> I'm like, do I, do I get to keep this? <laughs> this is what we rode. We were in the airplane. <laughs> so we just got off the flight school, Daramon, Daramon? Yeah. Still don't know right. his name. <laughs> uh, ride, uh, it was great. Uh, it was wild. We were in an airplane and then we were underwater. And then at some point, a flashlight turned us very small and it turned into how, uh, Honey, I Shrunk the Kids and we were in the lawn and there's big humans and then the ride ended. So, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. The thing with VR coasters though, is you never know which way you're going. So I don't know when the drop is. There's nothing to anticipate. You're just suddenly falling, which is fun. I feel like there were like, evil robots. Oh, the evil robots were attacking us. So Every, time, Every they, time they showed up, you knew that like you were gonna drop or something. Yeah. So we walked out of the ride and realized they also have snacks, a churro and a bun. So yeah, we will be getting those. So first things first, we have the Doramon. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Doramon, Doramon. Uh, cute little blue cat bun. Uh, it is pork filled. So we're gonna try it. Mmm good it's your standard classic pork bun but as a as a blue cat and then we have his churro which apparently is supposed to be like icing and red bean mm. I taste a little bit of the red bean the red bean paste is actually like mixed in with the blue icing it's actually really good <laughs> I'm into it. Now we are heading into the wizarding world of Harry Potter because not only, there's so many new things since I've been here in November. Not only is the No Limit Parade happening and a thing, and I'm very excited to see, but in Wizarding World, they started bringing out like beasts from 
the the movies, the books, whatever, like Mythical Beasts, like they have a full hippogriff that comes out and a niffler and a baby dragon. Um, so I'm excited to see all these magical creatures. <gasps> we are here. We are literally five minutes away from seeing a hippogriff. Right there. You're not supposed to be here. So apparently, there's quick service Hogwarts meat pies here. Those look so good. Look at this little nugget. We found a baby dragon too. Look at all these magical creatures! <laughs> Honestly, this isn't fair. Why is Universal Japan so cool? <laughs> we found a pygmy puff. She has a pygmy puff on her shoulder. Kawaii! 
You guys, I am literally obsessed with all the magical creatures. It's not fair <laughs> that it's only here. It's literally not fair. They do everything so much better. I gotta go into the ET store. They don't even have an ET ride here, but we have all the ET merch. I even had to rock my ET hoodie today. Got this at Universal Hollywood. So obviously I did have to buy some things. ET haul. First of all, oh, there's the receipt. We don't need to see that. <laughs> don't even know how much money I spent. Um, these ET earrings. That's all you need to know. They're not for me, they're for a friend, but like, come on. And then because I am a good friend, um, I bought four of these ET headbands. Yep, no explanation needed again. Just drag ET sitting on top of your head. It's 10 out of 10 merch. <laughs> ET headband on, yes. I bought one too, but now we are waiting for the No Limit Parade, which is very exciting because I still have never seen a parade here at Universal Japan. Last time I missed the nighttime parade, and uh, when I was here in November, there's no parade. So now I get to see the day parade, and we get to see the new units, Pokemon and Super Mario, which is so exciting. Because this is the first time Pokemon is actually going to be in a Universal Park ever. Oh man, it's coming. Oh no, I'm not ready. Yes. Come through! Ah! It's us! Wow. Icons! Snoopy! I'm here for all these dancers! Killing it. Come on, Snoopy. Look at these minions! Drew's wife is here! What is happening? Hi! Ah, not the scooter! Literally killing it. Come on, Sesame! Look at Moppy! Abby! Moppy! Yeah! We got some Sing! Universal's literally got every property here. No. Oh! I'm going down to Mario. I'm going to Mario. Oh my god. You get to just dance by these floats. Come through Yoshi. Yeah, Peach killing it over here. Oh my goodness. Who else we got? We got Luigi. Get it, Luigi! This is the best! We love a show stuff. Come on, Yoshi! Hey, hey, hey! Oh, we got confetti! <laughs> Woo! We gotta run back to our spot. <laughs> we gotta run back to our spot. <laughs> Where were we? Where were we? Honestly, a moment. Back to the thing unit. <laughs> Let's go, pigs. Oh my god, I'm here for these one wheels. Come through Mario Kart. Look at the shell helmets. Oh, the shell helmets are giving. I can't believe we don't have a Yoshi meet and greet in Hollywood. An icon. Oh, I'm here for these turtles! <laughs> Obsessed. Look at the piranha plants! No! Yeah! Yeah, Mario! He's 
for riding Rainbow Road! Oh. We're not done because we got a Pokemon unit! Lugia! It's literally a Lugia. There's a parade with the Lugia. Ah! I cannot. <laughs> they each have their own little Pokemon! No! I'm not surviving this parade. No, not the battling. No! <laughs> He used confusion. Look at this flow. Look at this squirtle! No! Charizard breathing flames. Pikachu! A torch chick? A jigglypuff? Yeah! Stop by the still closed terminated area just to like recoup and figure out what just happened. I feel like that parade just cured everything I have in my life. <laughs> the Super Mario unit, the Pokemon unit, the Sesame Street unit, like the fact that we just got to like, they do the parade stops and you can like just jump and dance around in the street. What did you think, Kayla? It was cute. Oh, you got the headband. We're rocking yeah. the headband. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a very short parade. There's not a lot of floats, but because they do the show stop one, two, three, four, five times, I think they do the show stop. Five, they do the show stop five times. It uh, it's a lengthy parade, uh, time wise. But I had a blast. The music was great. I danced. I saw a Yoshi. I saw a Pikachu. I saw a lot of Pokemon. I'm very happy. Um, this parade has done something to me. I'm buying some more headbands. <laughs> Help. I truly need to not step into any more stores here at Universal because for some reason I've already spent more money than I did at two days at Disney. So I don't know how that happened, but maybe no more buying things. I'll probably still buy more things. As I say no more stores, uh, we walk into the main <laughs> Universal gift shop. Uh-oh. Oh, they got the blue cat merch. Again, I've never seen the show, but he's cute. Look at him, just sitting on top of your head. So I've been seeing these question mark balloons and I thought I've seen them before, but I don't remember a little mushroom being inside of them too. What the heck? It's adorable. Okay, quick headband haul video. Um, I did buy a lot of things for friends, so this is not all for me. But first headband, these are all also the No Limit Parade uh, items. So these are not in the States. This is a Super Mario uh, item headband. So we got a banana star, flowers on Rainbow Road with Mario. Super cute, not sold at Hollywood. Also for the Pokemon unit, they have a Pikachu headband. So basically every unit has their own like headband. I don't think Sing had any merch, um, but this is the Pokemon unit headband. It's Pikachu, it's very cute. And then finally, this isn't for me, but my friend Taya loves Minions. So I had to get her the Minion Unit headband. And it's Bob, and he's dressed in like a disco fever. It's great. So I just bought a bunch of um, parade headbands because they're, they're too cute not to. Also with the debut of the No Limit Parade, they added Pokemon food items for the first time. And we are getting these. Just so you guys are aware, this has become a super popular stand um, that you have to get a return time to come back, which we got early in the morning first thing, um, and we still got a 3.30 time, so very popular. Here's the menu. It is a Squirtle Churro, a Pikachu Pizza Bun, and then you can get a melon uh, frozen slushy in a Bulbasaur souvenir cup. I'm obsessed. I pretty much ordered everything I could. First we got our Squirtle Churro. Look at him, it's just like a regular churro with like vanilla icing on it, but we love to see it. 
Then we got our Pikachu uh, pepperoni bun. I'm excited to eat that. And then I bought the bubble sore sipper. It was only one per person, so I had to buy it. Um, they give you the drink outside of it, so you have a clean little bubble sore, but the drink would go in here, and the straw would go in here, and you'd suck it out of his little leaf bulb. Um, but the drink is a melon frosty, and it's delicious. Let's dig in. Mm. <laughs> it tastes like a um a hot pocket. <laughs> a pizza hot pocket. A Pikachu pizza hot pocket. Then we got the Squirtle churro. The blue isn't like a icing icing. It's more like a, a custard icing. It's like a little thicker. Good. And then we have the Bulbasaur sipper, which the drink does not come in it. You can obviously pour it in it, but I don't want to make it dirty. So I got my melon frosty in a normal cup. And these, these melon, Sofro melon frosties, 10 out of 10. All right, we're meeting the blue cat and they have the system where they're lining everyone up on these lines. And then we'll move forward. And then this family will go, then this one, this one, this one. And it goes by so much faster. I'm obsessed. Look at him. Look at him. He's so cute. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, I'm actually excited because this trip we finally have time to see the Universal Monsters Rock and Roll Show, aka the Beetlejuice Graveyard Review. I miss her. Okay, we just got out of the Universal Monsters Rock and Roll show. Obviously, I couldn't film a lot of it because a lot of it is copyright music, but it's pretty much basically Bill Juice's Graveyard Review plus because it was inside and there was way more special effects. Dracula coming down from the ceiling. I don't remember that. Shook me. Shook me. It's finally time to head towards Super Nintendo World, but we have to pass through Amity. And you guys already know I have to ride Jaws every time I come here. So hopefully, we're going to power through Super Mario and then ride Jaws, our last ride, because Jaws at night is, is just the best. Here we go, Super Nintendo World, baby's first time! Yay! So excited! <laughs> first things first, because it is the second anniversary of Super Nintendo World here, they have a limited edition gold Mario power-up band. I gotta get it. Come in a specialty box, um, so I don't want to open them. I got two, one for a friend, but Gold power-up bands. I'm gonna be the coolest person in Hollywood. Here we go. Going through the tunnel. Caitlin's first time. Boop, 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 boop. You're warping in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now we're in Peach's castle. And the way better reveal from the one in Hollywood. <laughs> Yeah, so much room here. Are you overwhelmed? <laughs> it's very sensory overload. Everything's moving. Got the Yoshi ride, don't see that in Hollywood. Bowser's, piranha plants, we got it all. 
All of our friends are out. Mario and Luigi are out. But also, Kinepio is behind the pool. We gotta go see him. Also, since we entered Super Nintendo World, I had to put on my headband. I had to rock it. What do we think? It's a look. Also, our boy Kinepio is out. Hi! Yeah! Yeah! I like your bow! <laughs> yeah. Amazing. That's my little toad boy and I love him. Alright, it is finally time to ride Mario Kart Koopa's Challenge here in Japan. Also, we get to go through Bowser's mouth here, which is awesome. Caitlin, are you ready? No. <laughs> she hasn't excited. ridden it yet. So, first time in Japan. That's pretty cool. Ah, the staircase. I miss this in Hollywood. I feel like it feels grander if you have to go up a staircase. Huh, 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 huh. Hi, Bowser. Bye, Bowser. Now for anyone who has been to Hollywood, you can probably tell that this queue is so much more bigger than the one in Hollywood. One, they just have way more room here. <laughs> Whew. Hey, look, how, look, how, look at this queue. It can hold so many people. We got our fashion statement Mario hats. We are ready for the race. We made it. We're in the gift shop. <laughs> what did you think? Oh, you got your Yoshi. <laughs> <laughs> Look how cute it is. <laughs> I haven't bought it yet, but I'm going to probably. Um, what did you think of the ride? Amazing. It was a lot to handle. Um, I want to ride it again. Yeah. Just so I can <laughs> keep doing it, but it was really good. Very rideable. Fun. Good times. I don't even know if this half of this merch is in Hollywood. But this, the Yoshi headband, the bombs. I think the mushrooms are in Hollywood. You got Teresa over here. If you guys didn't know, in Japan, this uh, Boo character is called Teresa. So this is Teresa. They also have these fun, specific Universal Studios Japan Super Nintendo World shirts. I want to see if they still have the sweater I got last time I was here. And now it is night. But it is still the the brightest land in the dark because there's literally so many lights. See, it was posted at a 120 minute wait. We literally only waited an hour. So I never trust these wait times. They always over overestimate. Because we have to ride the ride that's not in Hollywood. R yeah. And you haven't ridden it. No. Even though it's a kid's ride, it's a fun Omni mover and it's Yoshi themed and we love Yoshi. Okay, so also this ride was posted at a 75 minute wait, but uh, I truly don't think it is. Again, I think they overestimate all these waits. Toadette. Konnichiwa. We're on and we got a purple Yoshi. Here are our flashing eggs. We gotta find them all. I'm also excited because last time I rode this during the day, so now I get to ride it at night. Got a nighttime overview, Super Nintendo World, and a peaceful ride on our purple Yoshi. This bird terrifies me. Oh, the, the green egg, the green egg, the green egg, the green egg. There it is, we found it. There's also a Koopa over here, a flying Koopa. Bye flying Koopa. They're all babies! It's baby Mario! <gasps> He's got a blue egg! He's got a blue egg! Yeah! Hi baby Peach! What is that? <laughs> I love him! We got my cactus dude up here, and also a red egg! A red egg! We got it! We got the red one! We did it, you guys. I think we collected all the eggs. Yes! We use, we use this Yoshi to fly. We've made it to Yoshi Island. We collected all of our eggs. I think we did a good job. 
Toad's got the golden egg. Or should I say, Kinepio. We got them all. We got them all. Master egg hunters. And that is Yoshi's Adventure. Listen, do I love Yoshi's Adventure? Yes, I think it's a great addition. I love that the lane has two attractions. However, I'm not too mad that Hollywood doesn't have it. I think people, a lot of people are mad that it's literally only Mario Kart, but I've been on this attraction twice now and it's a lot of fun, but it's like very short, very slow moving. You look at animatronics, I love it. I don't think a lot of people would like wait hours for it. Like I feel like it would be in Hollywood. So I'm not too mad about it not being in Hollywood. I am mad about Japan getting the Donkey Kong expansion though. Because there it is. Orlando will be getting the Donkey Kong expansion with their Super Nintendo World. Um, so will Japan, because it's literally right there. But we will not be getting it in Hollywood, so sad times. All right, and that is it from our adventures in Super Nintendo World Japan. Now we have one more thing to do. I'm sure you guys could guess it. Did you guys guess it? Our final stop of the night. You know it had to be done. Look at her thriving! Yes, goodbye! Wow, nighttime Amity is a vibe. So Jess got off Jaws. Our skipper was amazing. She was great. Loved her. Uh, I thought I was fine until a uh, dead shark came up and splashed me worse than kill shark. So now I'm a little wet, but thankfully that was our last ride for today. All right, that is it. That is our end of our Universal Japan Day. Thank you guys for joining me on a whirlwind adventure. I feel like we did so many things. We saw so many things and we definitely will be back. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys real soon. Bye.